in this lesson, I'm going to cover how you can use Google Keyword Planner to find more winning products. So the first thing you want to do is open up your Keyword Planner and in the search bar, you want to enter some of the winning products that you found. So for me, that's a dog harness, a hands-free dog leash and a shock collar. So once you have your results, you're going to notice right away that you can see the average monthly searches for these products. And even better, you can keep scrolling and you're going to find some keyword ideas. Now, this is insanely cool because you can actually figure out what other things people are looking for that are related to these winning products. And this is going to give you great insight into some other products that you can search for and add to your winning products list. Uh, as you search, you're going to notice that some of the things that people are searching for are pretty niche. So for example, people that got puppies, and you'll notice this for whatever niche you're using, whether it's home decor, babies, or fashion, you'll notice that Google Keyword Planner actually does the work for you. So it actually gives you an amazing list of cool new trending things related to what you were already looking for. So um, in my case, uh, Puppy Harness is a really good niche just for people who got puppies. Um, you'll also notice that there's going to be like a niche within your niche. So for example, people that own pugs are going to look for pug related items. People that have poodles are going to look for poodle related items. So keeping an eye on some of the breeds that have more volume than others is a really good way to target a specific type of consumer. You can actually use the refined keywords section over here and you can look up which are the most popular breeds. So in this case, it would be a Bulldog or a German Shepherd. So I would create a collection around that and I would use these keywords within my content, within my website, within my product description and uh, create an SEO optimized product. So keeping these keywords in mind is a great way to start ranking for them and kind of pull in more traffic just by incorporating these keywords. So once you have a solid list of winning products, it's time to actually figure out how you're going to find these products and add them to your dropshipping website that's covered in the next lesson.